another limited as a reminder to somebody to record the mind. And in the meanwhile, can we get somebody to share the uh, the agenda? Thank you, Renislav. Okay. Um, as a reminder, uh, you please add yourself to the attendees list on the agenda. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. So we have this particular meeting, uh, which uh, every uh, Tuesday at 8 a.m. We have every other week, we have a, uh, a Asia-friendly call. And it doesn't look like we have uh, Nikolai on to discuss. Was, it, was anyone on that call um, or, earlier today? Yeah, yeah, but it was nothing really important discussed actually. Just current situation. Okay, cool. We also participate in the CNCF Telecom User Group, which occurs every first Monday at 8 a.m. Pacific and every third Monday at 3 a.m. Pacific. And we also participate in the CNCF SIG Network which was currently rebooted and occurs every first and third Thursday of the month at 11 a.m. Pacific. We also have had a few uh, major events uh, that have been canceled or postponed. So the Go San Francisco, which was supposed to be tomorrow, has been postponed until after the, uh, until after the COVID-19 uh, uh, problem is abated. Um, the same thing goes for KubeCon, CodNativeCon in Europe and Amsterdam and NSMCon. So the plan, my understanding is the plan is to still hold an NSMCon. It's just going to be dependent on the new date for, uh, for the conference. We, ONES has also been postponed. Um, I believe they're going to run it sometime in in August. Is the planned at the planned time? Uh, we don't have a exact date for that yet either at this point. <coughs> KubeCon Cloud Native Con China has been canceled. Um, I do, do not think they plan to run one this year uh, at all. And so with that, the next set of major events barring any major issues, uh, are going to be the renegotiated dates for KubeCon Amsterdam, which will probably happen in August or September. Then we have ONES Europe, which will be in, in late September, and then KubeCon and CloudNativeCon North America in Boston, which occurs in November. Um, the CFP for ONES Europe and CloudNative uh, in KubeCon Boston, I believe. Well, our, sorry, well, the first one of the CFP is open. The second one, the, the KubeCon Boston, the CFP is open in April 22nd. Um, and so with that, we have a, uh, as a reminder, we have a project board that we've been tracking things with. 
So uh, if you would like to know what's going on or want to know where to get started, please check out the, the tracking board. And we also, let's see, we've already gone over the NSM con announcement. Um, and so with that, um, sorry, my system is lagging a little bit. Rather, my, my documents just crashed in a few moments to reboot it up. Cool. And we now have an NSM operator, which is, uh, well, which is hitting the uh, community operators repo. And do we have anyone on the call who has uh, worked on the operator by any chance? Yes, uh, that's me. Hello, everyone. Can, can you hear cool. me well? So, yeah, so was a repo created for you and was that added on or does that? Uh, the repo actually is a community repo. So you, you will find like uh, dozens of operators there. So it uh, actually will host the NSM operator for OpenShift and also for Kubernetes. And then using your operator lifecycle manager, you can install directly from that repo. So as, as of now, if you just install an OpenShift cluster, you will see an SM operator on uh, the OpenShift operator hub, for example. And Kubernetes is on its way. It's, uh, it's already has a PR there, so it should merge uh, by this week as well. Oh, fantastic. So I apologize, I misunderstood. Um, no, that's fantastic. It's getting onto the, uh, this is for operator hub uh, uh, website, right? Yeah, that's it. That's it. If you, if you want, I can I can talk a little bit later if you want about that. Cool. And yeah, one thing we need to do is we need to set up that uh, Git repo for you to to push on push things onto. So I'll I'll work on getting that set up too. Yes, sure. No, no problem. Cool. So, uh, social media media community team is doing a written update this time. So I'll cover their. Uh, account unless uh, someone else from book who would like to. Okay, so we have uh, some Twitter stats. On the, as of today, we have an, uh, 726 followers, for, so we've added six more. Uh, we followed six more. We have added nine more tweets for a total of 1,122, and we've posted information on NSMCon and uh, call reminders, CNCF weekly webinars, and news about CNCF joining Google Summer Camp of Summer Camp Code 2020. Uh, and we've also posted information about LFAI ONNX Community Virtual. And we also have uh, information on VMware's open source projects uh, trending on GitHub. Uh, with in LinkedIn, we now have 141 followers, and uh, we increased a follower. Posted the same information as on Twitter. Uh, information on NSMCon EU 2020 and similar have uh, been uh, postponed for the moment. So right now we have an empty agenda. Um, is there anything that anyone would like to discuss? Well, uh, Frederick, if I may, uh, I would like just to explain a little bit about that community repo and uh, it's really quick. Uh, actually, we have two repos. One is the NSM operator repo where you can find the operator itself and the community operators repo just, uh, it just holds uh, metadata about the operator. Uh, and then with that, it is possible to build a hub and to pull the images from uh, the proper repositories and run the operator on the platforms. So if in the near future, we were to uh, move from my private, or not private, but public repo, personal public repo, uh, where the NSM operator is to under the NSM org, 
uh, this is not a problem because this is the operator itself. The bundle, the, the metadata that is uh, hosted by the uh, community operators repo is still, uh, well, still the same, it is, uh, remains the same. And each and every version of the operator will generate a bundle with a metadata that will come into that uh, community operators repo. The cool thing about that is that uh, you will have uh, it available on the operators hub, uh, both in OpenShift and Kubernetes if you have uh, uh, an operator lifecycle manager powered uh, Kubernetes platform. That's it. Okay, nice. Yeah, so we'll work on getting that uh, that Git repo up and running. And so, in terms of the uh, so in terms of the repo, uh, how does this particular thing is, is it similar to Docker Hub? So, if I can create a new uh, 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 commit against uh, a branch or against master, does it automatically update the the, uh, the hub? You, you you mean the the image itself or or the source code? Oh, I get it. So so it's uh, it's based upon so it's based upon the image and the and the latest on there, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I actually have uh, also a personal Qui IO uh, repo where the image is hosted, um, and I have the source code on a. GitHub repo and the GitHub repo, this is uh, kind of confused. There is a GitHub repo that is called the community operators. There we have just metadata. The metadata is just saying, hey, here we have an operator that does this, 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 and that. And we have the path for those images. So we know how to install it. It's kind of a, a metadata repo only. And on, on, on the image side, is it is in Quay.io. It's just like a public uh, uh, image repo. Nothing, nothing special about that. And the code itself is the one I'm I'm eager to kind of move to under the NSM org. Uh, the other two, uh, it doesn't matter if we keep Quay.io. It should be like uh, a repo uh, under also uh, then the NSM org, or we can just change the repo uh, for that particular image to something that NSM is already using. Okay, nice. Well, thank you for the, uh, th thank you for the quick description on that. You're welcome. Cool. Are there any other topics that uh, people would like to uh, to discuss? Okay. If not, we can break uh, earlier this particular week, and uh, we'll, we can uh, we'll reconvene next week, and uh, uh, we should have uh, Ed back. And in that particular scenario, we'll. Uh, go over all of the, uh, the variety of updates that we have for, for NSM. Um, with, so thank you everyone for your time and we will see you all again at the same time next week. Take care. Thank you. Thank you, take care.